From Washington, this is VOA News. Coming up, warnings about Iran from Israel's leader, plus the Vatican announcing new saints. Hello everyone, I'm Steve Norman. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says Iran must dismantle its nuclear program and should face tougher sanctions as it negotiates with the West. Mr. Netanyahu made the comments after meeting with President Obama at the White House on Monday. Iran is committed to Israel's destruction. So for Israel, the, the ultimate test of a future agreement with Iran is whether or not Iran dismantles its military nuclear program. I believe that it's the combination of a credible military threat and the pressure of those sanctions that have brought Iran to the negotiating table. President Obama said world powers will negotiate with Iran in a clear-eyed manner and will consult Israel closely. Prime Minister Netanyahu's visit to the White House came three days after Mr. Obama and Iranian President Hassan Rouhani conducted the highest level contact between the countries in more than three decades. Iran has long insisted its nuclear program is peaceful. The U.S. and many of its allies disagree and have helped impose several rounds of sanctions that have battered Iran's economy. An advanced group of weapons inspectors who will oversee Syria's destruction of its chemical arms have arrived in Beirut on their way to Damascus. 20 experts from the Hague-based Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons will travel to Syria later on Tuesday to help President Bashar al-Assad's government meet a November 1st deadline to scrap its ability to manufacture such arms, the destruction of Syria's existing stockpiles due to be completed by mid-2014. Participants at a U.N. refugee conference in Geneva are appealing for stronger international support for countries hosting large Syrian populations. Lisa Schlein reports from the UNHCR conference in Geneva. Nearly all of these refugees have found asylum in four neighboring countries, Lebanon, Jordan, Turkey, and Iraq. UN High Commissioner for Refugees Antonio Guterres says these countries are saving lives by generously providing protection and assistance. But he warns they are stretched to their limits and finding it increasingly difficult to cope with the unrelenting flood of Syrian refugees arriving at their borders. The World Bank estimates Lebanon's economy is losing nearly 3% in annual GDP growth. The Jordanian government says it will have spent $1.7 billion in caring for the refugees by the end of the year. Turkey says it has spent $2 billion and has received only $130 million from the international community. Lisa Schlein for VOA News, Geneva. Sudan defending a deadly crackdown on protesters as demonstrations enter a second week. Governor of Khartoum told a news conference Monday that police only open fire on protesters to defend their stations. Demonstrations began last week as a protest against a cutting government subsidies that caused a sharp rise in fuel prices. Vatican says the late Pope John Paul II and John XXIII will be declared saints. It'll happen in a joint ceremony next year in April on the 27th. Pope Francis made the announcement Monday during a meeting of cardinals at the Vatican. Beati Ioannes Vicesimus Tertius et Ioannes Paulus Secundus, die septimo et vicesimus. Pope John Paul II and Pope John XXIII are two of the 20th century's most influential church leaders. Pope John Paul II, the first non Italian pope in four centuries, led the Roman Catholic Church from 1978 to 2005. Pope John XXIII was pontiff from 1958 through 1963. 
In Washington on Monday, President Obama said shutting down the government is the height of irresponsibility and throws a wrench into the gears of a recovering economy. Appeal to Congress to do its job and pass a spending bill. His appeal, just hours before a likely government shutdown at midnight Washington time in the absence of a bill to fund government spending. Earlier on Monday, the Senate rejected a House spending bill that would have delayed implementing Mr. Obama's health care law. If the House does not approve a new bill within the health care provisions before midnight, the U.S. government will start closing down all but essential services. BOA will continue to broadcast during such a shutdown. For more news, go to our website at voanews.com.